What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Axeman 97, and just I'm just going to talk about the unfortunate situation that this show is just way too good, and we do not deserve this show at all. So basically, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm going to make this review pretty brief and quick because I want to, but like I kind of want to make these reviews, of these TV shows, movie reviews, pretty quick. But uh, basically, it's as simple as this: the acting. From the voice actors are incredible the dialogue is incredible like just straight up like the performances from the magneto from gambit from rogue from cyclops the gene like absolutely incredible like some of the like just the some of the speeches just like as soon as like especially for magneto some of the speeches like just stick right into you as soon as you hear them and you're like wow and it's kind of speaking facts just a bit and I want to keep this kind of like spoiler but non-spoiler, so this is kind of a non-spoiler review, okay? Because I like I'm not I, I wouldn't be that I'm not the biggest fan of spoiler reviews, but at the same time I know some people are. But as simple as this, um, episode like let's just kind of smallly break it down between episodes. I would say one and two are absolutely amazing. The first one is to recaptivate you into the theme and the aesthetics of the '90s show, but with updated visuals and um couple new voice actors who have replaced the old actors but also some of the returning people they'll kill it uh i would also say um oh what else uh so like in season sorry episode two is basically taking the normality and the safetyness of episode one and then it brings it right into okay now this is actually something new this is something fresh we're gonna go straight into it nice little twist uh I really want to talk about what happens in these episodes, but I, I'll try to avoid not to. Episode three picks off basically. Episode two leads off on a cliffhanger, goes right into episode three. Episode three is actually, I would say, one of the most underrated episodes of this entire season. It's absolutely amazing. Episode four it is split, split into two parts. And I will say this the first part is okay. I would say it's a solid seven out of 10. The second half is definitely at like a nine out of 10. Definitely, like, basically, basically that so far. Um, episode five is just when the show goes from, I would say, at the current moment, when the show goes from, a, like, a nine out of ten to a ten out of ten. Like, I would say, just watching episode ten, sucker punched me. Like, I had no idea what was going to happen. I was like, okay, this is a slow episode. Okay, okay, and then something happened, like, this specific situation happens, and you're like, oh my goodness. Oh my god. My jaw hit the floor. And there there's nothing else I could say. But then we go into episode six. Basically, episode six is basically kind of a follow-up to episode four. Episode seven brings is basically a kind of a continuation of episode episode five. But don't skip any of these episodes. Like a lot of these episodes are must-watches. There's not that many fill there is filler. And I believe two episodes, but there are character building arc uh, fillers that are much needed for some of these characters. Um, I would also say, yeah, so basically up from seven to episode one to seven, so good, must watch all of it. And then you get into the finale of eight, nine, and 10. The season finale of eight, nine, and 10 is up there with some of the greatest television shows of all time for the ending of any season. Like it's absolutely incredible. The visuals are amazing. The uh, like the fight scenes are amazing like you you f you feel it like there was there was never a moment in the show where i was like i'm not liking this and episode eight nine and ten perfectly demonstrate that if you watch one and seven it really pays off in eight nine and ten like everything from all the arcs properly from one to seven really pay off in the last three episodes and i will say this this show is a must watch for anybody who just who just wants to casually watch something like this is one of those shows that eventually will definitely age better with time once more word of mouth comes out and stuff and i'll say this this is definitely one of the shows that for any future kids i will happily show this show like absolutely like this is a show that takes normies and regulars and gives them a soap opera creative uh creative approach to the x-men and it's very easy to understand, even for the newcomers. You don't, I don't think, you don't need to watch the 90s show at all. 
understand any of it. They do a pretty good job of recapping. And yeah. So basically, that's my review. Spoiler review of uh, pretty much X-Men 97, guys. If you like this review, hit that like and subscribe down below. Don't be afraid to comment what your favorite episode was. Uh, who, like, who are you looking for the most? And no spoilers down below in these comments. If this video, if I see some comments that maybe I, people want me to talk about and like more in depth into certain aspects of the show, I'll happily do a spoiler talk basically in a future up and future reviews. But in this situation, this is a spoiler free review for all you uh, newcomers to the channel. I will pro I will definitely warn you in the title and I'll put somewhere, somewhere in the corner that it's going to be spoiler free. So hope everybody has a wonderful time. Stay tuned for more reviews on either X-Men, anything in the Marvel or anything in Star Wars, pretty much any nerd culture stuff. So in the meantime, everybody, uh, well, just enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>